WKTP and Freedom Works, and I'm here with with Congressman Mike Fitzpatrick, who uh, is introducing some important legislation today. Uh, Congressman, would you talk about the legislation? Yes, Anastasia. The legislation is called the Jeremy Bell Act. It's been introduced in the United States Congress as a result of an incident which occurred that unfortunately Pennsylvania was involved in. Uh, Jeremy Bell was a 12-year-old student uh, who was murdered in 1997 in West Virginia by an educator uh, who was permitted to leave and resign quietly from the uh, Interboro School District in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, when it was alleged that he was engaged in inappropriate contact with students. Um, rather than turn the matter over to law enforcement, unfortunately, um, which should have occurred, would have been the moral thing to do, uh, he, w he resigned. He then emerged in, uh, in West Virginia, uh, where he was able to victimize additional students. And so I introduced legislation to put an end to that practice, which is known in educational circles as passing the trash. Um, Congressman, why do you think that we need to go to this level? Why isn't it just common sense that we wouldn't do this? Right. Well, it is common sense that we would do it, and you would hope that uh, local officials, local law enforcement, uh, school district officials, whether they be board members or superintendents, um, would do the right thing, and every time a, 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 an allegation is made, that every time an allegation is made, that it be turned immediately over to law enforcement. And unfortunately, uh, that doesn't always happen. And sometimes it seems like for victims, it seems like the predators, the, you know, there's institutional protection of predators, not protection of the children. And so, um, you know, while I'm very reluctant to, uh, you know, to talk about this on a national level and require federal legislation for local officials, in this particular case, we have school officials today, we have state senators today, we have protection advocates today calling on the federal government to help institute a national database, a clearinghouse, if you will, um, for teachers who've lost their certifications um, to be reported so that other potential uh, down-the-road employers are not subjected to those same um, teachers trying to teach in their school districts. And so this is a situation where the states are trying to do the right thing on individual bases, but they need a coordinated system w that communicates state to state so that children are fully protected throughout this throughout the nation. Well, thank you very much. And thank you. good luck with the legislation. Okay, Thanks. thank you. Hi, this is Anastasia Probilski with WKTP TV and Freedom Works. I'm here with Senator Williams in the federal building to discuss some legislation he testified at with today. So, Senator, would you mind uh, filling us in on what, what occurred here today? We talked about two bills. We talked about the Jeremy Act bill, which is federal legislation, which talks about preventing those who are uh, uh, sexual abusers from leaving one state and going to another state to do the same thing that they've done in this one state. So it's about sharing information between states mm -hmm. and having a directory and a database so that you can, actually can track that kind of activity. Okay. And then I had the opportunity to talk about my bill, Senate Bill 1381, which specifically talks about preventing the crime before it occurs. And the way you do that is that we're actually going to have in the interview process when you make application okay. on the form, it will have to designate whether you, not only have you been prosecuted and convicted, but whether you're being investigated for any sexual misconduct or okay. sexual abuse. And we go a little bit beyond just the traditional. That means those who have been uh, prosecuted tend to, to fall into a certain category of specific kind of sexual uh, activity. This actually goes to the more contemporary activity, that is like sexting, texting, those levels, which don't necessarily rise to the level of criminal activity, but right. they certainly should rise to the level of you shouldn't be teaching. Oh, I agree with you. Uh, why do you think that it, it gets to the point where we need to have legislation versus it just being common sense and school districts automatically doing this. Why is this uh, occur this uh, passing the trash? Mm -hmm. I think it's because of the history of what has happened with uh, this kind of activity. Unfortunately, we found over the long period of time when these kinds of things occur, specifically between a activity between a teacher and a minor, that systems tend to protect mm -hmm. uh, the system, not the minor. Mm -hmm. And historically, we found that the that comes of age more and more publicly now when pe with technology, information, people feeling more comfortable to talk about it, uh, the level of scrutiny and embarrassment that's, that's, that has been dropped, more people are aware of it. But unfortunately, I think it's because these institutions and special interest groups, yes. that means school boards, teachers unions, tend to fall on the sword to say, we don't want to have uh, civil litigation. Uh, we don't want to have somebody sue us that may be innocent as opposed to research the facts and right. get the person out of the profession. I, I have a question. Uh, you know, we, you've been very vocal in the uh, school choice uh, 
battle here in Pennsylvania. Um, how do you see that this legislation and um, what we're trying to push in Pennsylvania, how they kind of work together with the institutions protecting the, they, you know where I'm they, going. Yeah, they go to the heart of the issue, and that is parents send their children to a building. You know, historically, it's been primarily a public building. And uh, they expect and hope and entrust that all that occurs in that building will be certainly safe, nothing morally and ethical, and that they'll be teaching and educating at the highest level. And unfortunately, in many cases, uh, there that is just the contrary. And then when you find it to be the contrary, that the building's unsafe, children not being educated, and God forbid that they're being sexually molested or abused, the system protects itself and right. starts providing excuses as to why it should happen and why we should just gloss over it individual uh, as opposed to understanding this is an individual human being that we are imprinting uh, unfortunately in very tragic ways I agree with you well thank you for the good work keep it up thank and you and we'll be following following what you do and I'll come back she's wonderful <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Anastasia Probilski with WKTP TV and Freedom Works. I'm here today with, with Terry Miller, who's, who is the president of Sesame, and she's going to talk a little bit about that. Can you, uh, hi, Terry, how, what is Sesame exactly? Sesame is an advocacy organization that provides uh, support to victims, their families, and professionals who are involved in cases of educator sexual misconduct. Um, the acronym stands for Stop Educator Sexual Abuse, Misconduct, and Exploitation. So today you talked about some statistics. Uh, would you mind sharing some, st some statistics so that our viewers would understand why we need this legislation? Sure. Um, 4.5 million children are affected by educator sexual misconduct between the age of kindergarten and 12th grade, and teachers that are involved in the predation of these children are being quietly passed and allowed to find employment in other schools all across the country. That's Why do you think that the um, teachers union goes through such lengths to protect these teachers and, you know, quote unquote, pass the trash? Well, I believe they don't want to um, have the cloud of shame, as I say, over their school district. Um, they don't want to um, be held liable in certain situations, so they would rather um, uh, push this under the rug rather than protecting our children. Um, that, to me, is an evil act, and it must stop. I agree with you. Thank you so much for your time, and continue, uh, continue the fight. I think we're going to see something happen. Thank you. I hope that um, you know, the passage of the Jeremy Bell Act, as well as the Senator Williams' passage of the Sesame Act, is going to finally put a stop to passing the trash. Thank you.